Hello guys, my name is Neri. I will be doing a quick guide on how to make a battlecruiser rush or battlecruiser opener. It's not exactly a rush because you are making a series the whole time and you are also preparing for the mid game. So a rush it is not. It is a build that I've had some success with and it, it's kind of fun build also because it surprises the enemy often and you get some kind of interesting comments when you enter their base with a battlecruiser quite early on. It's not that hard to execute on a basic level. If you want to go really pro, there's some multitasking and some stuff going on. Good to practice, but hard to master the start. But as a, I think it's, it's a pretty solid build to start out with. Anyway, you open with a supply depot at 10, you continue with a Rex at 12, Additional supply and refinery at 13, as usual. You follow this up with a orbital commander 15 once the barracks is done. Also make one marine from the barracks as soon as it's done. You will need that for killing off scouting probes, drones, SCVs, whatever they're scouting with. Uh, once the orbital command is started make a second supply depot. And as soon as you hit 100 gas you should make your first factory. Not first, the only factory in fact. Drop mules as soon as you can, you need the money. Make a second refinery after the factory is started. Also, keep start making marines again once the factory has been started. Put three in both gases, obviously. Once the factory is done, you need to make a starport. Also, make supply depots as you need them. Make sure you keep a good, good look at them at all times. I use the factory to make tech lab, you can potentially use your use your barracks if you prefer, if you want more aliens instead of marines. Make, I would su strongly suggest that you make a medivac, this is op optional, you don't have to make a medivac, but I would strongly suggest you make one. Because with this build you are going with aliens, marines and battlecruiser very quickly. And aliens will heal your, <laughs> not aliens, medivacs will heal your marines and SCVs and SCVs will heal everything else. So you have a pretty strong push. Once the starport is done, make your choose your core. And at this point, make sure you save up enough minerals so that you can make your battle cruisers as soon as it's done. Also make sure you have enough supply to make your battle cruiser. Now once you've started your battle cruiser, you should um, you should keep making your your marines and aliens until it's finished. And after that you should expand. Uh, that's not completely true. You should make marines and helions as you can afford, and if you ever hit foreign minerals, you should expand. That's how I would do it anyway. And at this point, it's really up to you to just push and uh, try to win the game. Once the battlecruiser pops, of course, bring some SCVs, 4, 5, you know, maybe 6. It, it's really up to you, you have to test it out how many you feel is best for you. Now, from here on out, I wanna make some some suggestions or something that you can do to make this your own build, because there are a few things that that can be done better or differently. And one of those things is the medivac drop, which I did in this game. As if you look at the minimap, I didn't actually look at it because it's not that important. But if you play on a high level or wanna practice your multitasking, you should definitely go and and try and uh, try and make a drop with your medivac. Helium Marine combo. Just make sure you don't lose it because it's quite important to have. Also, the second thing to consider is where you place your buildings. Now, in this game, I just threw them down because I'm playing as the easy AI, so it really doesn't matter at all what he's doing or where I place my buildings. But against Zergs, you should probably make some kind of a wall up. Also, scouting is really up to you. If you want to do it at 10, after your supply depot is done, or after your barracks is done, or maybe even later, or maybe not at all. It depends how, how good you are at reacting to whatever he does. Make sure you always make SCVs, don't, do like don't be a noob like me and keep forgetting them. Upgrade complete. And also con consider the transition or the mid game that you're going to go for, because this push should not end the game if you're playing as a really good player. If, if you scout it, it, 
probably should still will do damage, but it's not very really likely to still start. It's basically only if you have been battle troops of ours fighting ever. But consider the, the game afterwards, what they're going to build after the Battle of Crusader Rush is done. Because you will most likely be able to come to whatever you are, or build uh, units that kill your units. When, when, when you see what you're doing. So you need to consider what you are going to do afterwards. Be it Marines, Marauders, Medivacs, or be it some kind of mech build, or maybe Sky Terran, I don't know, Our that's SCVs completely up to you. Anyway, I think this is pretty much all that I need to say right now. I wish, I hope that you can have fun with you. I hope that you can have some, some, some kind of success on your island, or best friends. If anyone really is surprised or shocked someone, maybe take a game of someone in a big tournament, I don't know. Anyways, I hope that you find this useful. Thanks for watching.